Oh, oops. Go, hello. How is everyone? That should be, that should be good. Oh. Hope everybody had a wonderful week. It is about seven here. Let's check it out here. Yeah. Another couple seconds. I hope you're all doing well. We've been working on our series and the chakras. Um, I'm actually going to take a break from that tonight, and we're going to work on some hips and some shoulders. So I hope you are down with that. All right, it is seven o'clock. Thank you for being here and being here every week. This is amazing. This is awesome. Let's just start to move on our mat so you can start to kind of relax. The muscles in your face, think about relaxing the muscles in your neck, your shoulders. And if you're doing circles right now, just take circles in the opposite direction. So I want you to do whatever feels good to you and your body at this moment. Move side to side, you can move up and down, you can move your arms if you want to. Just anything to relax you, make you feel grounded and safe. You may even close your eyes if you want. I know it might look a little silly, that's okay. Sometimes yoga is not all serious. Sometimes it can be a little silly. So let's take a little arch in your back, chin to your chest. We're gonna squeeze your belly button to your spine. Then we're going to gently throw the arms back, arch, lift the head up, and take it back to the front. So let's add the breath to that. We're going to inhale as we arch. We're exhaling as we round and squeeze our belly. Remember, these inhales and exhales are audible. Good. Start breathing through the nose. Maybe exhaling through the mouth for a little bit more power there in your breath. Feels better. Let's sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, this time we're lowering the chest down in front, still stretching through the chest. Inhale, raise up, exhale, drop the chest down, reach the arms back. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. And exhale. Arms reach overhead and let's reach a little higher on both sides, stretching all the way through the side body. We're still breathing. The exhales usually get you a little deeper into your stretches. Now let's tuck the hands behind the head, sitting tall. Elbows are pulled back. We're gently pressing the hands into your head and your head into your hands. We're gonna start to twist the torso from side to side, trying to stay as upright as possible. It doesn't matter how deep your twist is. Working on this transverse plane right now. Good, squeeze your stomach in. Try to keep the elbows open. So as you twist, you don't want to close to try to get deeper. Just keep it in your plane of motion. All right, now you're facing me. We're gonna tuck the elbows into the rib cage and maybe behind the rib cage. Taking the arms back, thumbs face back, stretching a little more through the anterior delts and the pec muscles. Good, from here, relax the shoulders. So make that space between your ears and your shoulders. Good, now let's crawl the hands forward. 
You take your chest down as close to the floor as you would like. Stretching through your lower back. Let's crawl over to the left. And crawl to the right. We're crawling back to the middle and let's roll to the top. Let's pull both knees into your chest. Just squeeze it into a little ball here. So let's wrap the left arm around, we'll wrap the right arm around. Just get a little tighter in that ball. Tuck your chin to your chest. And here, we're gonna make that hug a little tighter. So you're squeezing your knees in, focusing on the upper back muscles to get that nice stretch in and the back of the neck. Wonderful. Now let's raise up and we're gonna take the left or the right knee, the left knee, press it down towards your mat. Good, now the right knee is staying right where it is. You still have the arm wrapped around, you're sitting tall. Feel that nice deep stretch through the inner thigh. And let's take it on the other side. Gently pressing down, the foot is flexed to keep that knee safe. And let's add a butterfly in there. So both knees come down. You can even flutter those wings. Good. Awesome. Feel that nice stretch. Now let's take your left leg straight out. We're going to tuck that right foot a little closer so we can sit tall. Both hips are on the mat. If they are not on the mat, you can grab a towel or a blanket and put it right under your hips. So we're going to flex the foot, flex the other foot. Good, we're trying to keep that leg as close to the ground as possible. Good, and maybe sliding the left hand toward that left foot. Uh, let's try it again, get a little closer. Nice, now let's pull it back in, soles of your feet touch, and let's wiggle the toes together. Good, let those toes touch. Now let's pull the left foot in, flexing the right foot, flexing the left foot. Good, slide down the leg, get a little closer to that foot, feel that stretch get a little deeper each time you reach. Here you may use the breath to inhale as you sit up, exhale as you reach. Awesome, let's try one more time. Back to your butterfly. Let's flutter those wings again. I always notice in the uh, video that one knee is higher than the other. Work on that a little bit. Now let's take our feet to the front. So we're still flexing your feet back. Let's take an inhale here, reach up high. Make sure you're sitting on your sits bones. Reach forward toward the feet. We don't want to push too far here. We're just warming up. So let's inhale. Exhale, come forward. Inhale. So it's a little bigger reach each time. We're not feeling any pain, of course. Reach forward. And exhale. Uh, let's drag the fingertips up the legs and separate the feet. Your straddle may look better than mine. Good for you, that's awesome. It may not look like mine at all, and that's okay too. If you are in here, that is totally fine. That's where you're starting. I started a little closer to that too, <laughs> at the beginning of my split um, encounters here. But let's flex the toes. So making sure your toes are facing the sky right now. They're not rotating in or out. They're straight up, pulling back. Right here, you can feel the muscles in your legs tense up. Let's inhale here. 
Exhale, we're reaching forward. Again, we're not pushing too far. Inhale here, we're sitting tall. Exhale forward. If you find that you need that blanket, grab it. Especially if, go ahead, you can stay there. But if you're in that position, then you feel yourself rounding like that. Want to be sitting tall. And if that means bringing your straddle to a more narrow position, that's okay too. Now this time we're inhaling. We're gonna reach for that left foot, keeping the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, reach for the right, toes up to the ceiling. We're still flexing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Let's try one more, let's inhale and exhale. Oh yeah, definitely feel that. Now let's Pull the feet together, still flexing, sitting high on those sits bones. Arms come straight out. So let's keep our arms strong here. So strong from your shoulder to your fingertips, making sure that the hands are not coming down, the shoulders are not up by the ears. Relax. So maybe let's do that a few times. So let's inhale. Lift the shoulders up toward the ears, which I know I never say, but now exhale and pull them down your back. Just let them drip down your back. That way you can kind of feel the position you should be in. So let's inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, keep those arms nice and strong. Let's make little circles. So fingertips are pointed out. And let's make the circles in the opposite direction. Let's take the palms back and press, press, press. Take the palms to me and press, press, press. Good, palms are up, press up, still relaxing the shoulders. And let's press the palms down. Wonderful, interlace your fingers. Now we're pressing forward toward the feet. Your chin tucks in, you're rounding through your back here. Shoulders still relaxed. Inhale, lift above your head. Try to take a little bit of an arch here. Pressing the sits bones into the mat and maybe even reaching a little higher on the right and the left, getting through the waist. And let's reach forward, still flexing the feet. The toes are up to the ceiling. Rounding and we're inhaling as we lift, taking it side to side, rock from one to the other hip. Let's try one more time, come forward. And we inhale, raise, small back bend here and reach a little higher to get through the side body. Wonderful, let's take the arms down. Arms behind you, we're still flexing the feet. And let's take the left foot up. Good, now press your heel toward me. So dig it in toward me. We're working on the muscles in the quads. Good, and then drop that foot down. Lift the right foot. We're still squeezing your belly here. Shoulders are back. Now dig that heel toward me, keeping the toes up to the ceiling. Keep these very controlled. Feel those quads in your upper leg working there. Two and one. Good, drop it down. Wonderful job. Shake it out. Maybe beat that lactic acid in those muscles. Let's come up to hands and knees. So hands under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Let's roll the toes under now. Find that neutral spine with the shoulders away from your ears and let's start to round and arch. And today you can start with either end. I'm gonna start with my tailbone coming all the way up to the crown of my head and then dropping with the tailbone to the crown of my head. We're inhaling in that cow position, we are exhaling an angry cat. So as your back is rounded, when your head is coming up, you're inhaling toward the sky, exhaling toward the ground. 
neutral spine here and let's rock your hips back and forth. Dropping your elbows down, still rocking the hips back and forth. So even though we're dropped down a little lower, I want you to be aware of your body position that you are not slouching in to your body, trying to keep it strong here the whole time. Let's make sure toes are touching, your knees are out. We're gonna settle back to the heels in child's pose. Now here you can place a block under your head. Also still have the blanket under your hips or in between your hips and your heels. Whatever feels good here. Deep breaths we're taking here. With each breath, we relax a little more into our child's pose. Now, if you're down low and it's a little bit too much of a stretch on the front part of your foot or your ankle, you can roll the toes under and sit back that way. You can also settle back into it and come forward. So you can rock. It's all in what is good for you, especially today. What was good for you last week may not be good for you today depending on how you slept, so the shoes you wore today, the position of the sun. Now let's all meet in our downward dog. We're coming up and not forgetting here in your downward dog, if you would rather have knees bent here, definitely keep them bent. You can lift your hips a little higher, gently pressing your underarms down to the mat. Your goal eventually is to get those legs a little straighter. Let's pedal those heels into the mat. And crawl your feet to the outer edges of the mat. Let's rock your hips side to side, pressing the heels down. So if you're rocking your hips to the right, you're pressing the right heel down. If you're rocking to the left, your left heel presses down. Wonderful job. Now let's inhale. So we're going to inhale into your strong plank. Exhale. Back to downward dog. You can also drop your knees here. You can use your chair here. Wherever you feel like you can hold a nice plank and get a good stretch. Wonderful. Now in downward dog, let's take our toes to touch. We're coming forward into that plank position, but you're going to take your left knee through. You're going to drop the back knee down if you can, making the top of that foot flat on the mat. Awesome. Let's pick it back up. Come back to your downward dog, and we're taking the right knee through. Drop the back knee, take the top of the foot on the mat. Still keeping the shoulders away from your ears. See, I had to remind myself they were up there. All right, come back. Downward dog, and let's take that knee, the first knee through again. Good, good, good. I hope you're feeling good in this position. I love to stretch my hips. Let's take it on the other side, pull it through. Maybe a little further. Good, lift the chest. All right, now we're gonna go for the gusto here. So we're bringing that left knee through again for the first knee, drop the back knee and let's crawl the hands forward. So you can land on the forearms or you can crawl all the way out so your forehead hits the mat or a block. So if you have a block, you could put it under your forehead. You can also stay where we were for sure. Any of these work. Feel that nice stretch. Let's lift up, downward dog. Take the right knee through. On this side, you may be more flexible. You may be able to get down a little lower. Just listen to your body. Deep breaths here. Wonderful. Now from here, we're gonna lift up 
So the back leg is still bent, the front knee is still bent, both of your feet are flexed. Good, we're gonna stay right here in this position. You can place the blanket back under your hips if you are leaning to the left or the right at this point. Try to sit tall. Now we are gonna lean into the right side. So we're crawling the hands back behind the right knee to try to lift that left foot up. Doesn't have to come up high. This may cause some cramping. If it does, stop and stretch a little. Eventually your muscles will know exactly what to do. Good, now this back leg, we're gonna lift the knee up and press the feet together in butterfly. Good, give it that little flutter here. Wonderful job. And let's start to place our hands behind the left knee. Lifting the right leg up, the knee comes down. We're still flexing the feet. The left foot, the right foot is up right now. Good. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Keep breathing, we are leaning in and that's okay. All right, let's drop it and we're gonna sit a little taller here. Still flexing the feet. Still feeling that amazing stretch. Wonderful. How are you feeling out there? Everybody looks good. I wish I could really see you. All right, now let's lift the back foot again. Come back into your butterfly. Give me a little pulse. And lift the left foot up. Left knee goes down, drop the foot a little faster. Good, so let's lift. Knee comes up, butterfly. Lift the other leg, knee comes down, drop the foot. Lift the foot. Lift the knee, butterfly. Lift the foot, drop the knee, drop the foot. One more time around, lift the foot, the knee, butterfly. Lift the foot, drop the knee, drop the foot. One more time all the way through, lift the foot, lift the knee, butterfly. Take it over, drop it. Awesome, Good job. I hope your hips feel a little more open. We're gonna come back to your downward dog. And with your downward dog, your hands can be on your chair. Let's start with the left foot forward. We're gonna take it through the hands. Good, now this back leg, that's where you should really feel this stretch is the back leg in the front. So right here. Good, give it a little pulse here. If you need more of a stretch, drop that knee down. Good, you can also take the foot and place the top of it onto your mat. I'm kind of leaning a little bit. My knee is a little uh, sore today, so. Good, you can get a little deeper into the stretch by taking both hands to the inside of your left foot and holding here or taking the elbows down to the mat. You may also crawl your hands out in front. Depends on your flexibility. Do what you think is good for your body. Let's frame the foot again. Take the left foot back and the right foot forward. Keeping this front knee stacked over the ankle is very important. If you'd like to drop the knee to get a deeper stretch, you can drop. Take both hands to the inside of that foot. And we start to crawl forward if you're able to, or you can just take it down to your elbows or stay where you are. Actually, my stretch is pretty good here today. Take the hands out, frame the foot. Let's lift the back knee and bring that foot up to meet the other foot. Relax into this. Let's rock from the balls of your feet to your heels without lifting the toes or the heels off of the mat. Just feel the shift in balance. 
and the micro movements of all the muscles in your feet. Let's start to rock side to side here without lifting the feet. Just feeling all those wonderful muscles move around. Let's take a circle now. Remember, your hands can be on a chair. This is too much of a stretch, and we're taking those circles in the opposite direction. Good. Now, hinge from your hips. Lift up. Let's inhale. Raise the arms overhead. Keep that slight back bend here. The back bend means that you have a heavy tailbone. There is no reason to stretch your lower back here. So tuck, squeeze, relax the shoulders, lift up. Let's take our hands into prayer, right at your heart. Wonderful job. Let's melt the heart to the floor. Relaxing the head, grabbing opposite elbows. Gently swaying, relaxing the head and neck, maybe shaking a little. That feels amazing. Hands come down, hinge from your hips. Inhale, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Press all 10 toes into your mat. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Exhaling and sighing through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And sigh. One more time, we're inhaling. And sigh. Wonderful job. We're gonna try a little balance here. I'm gonna face you, you can stay where you are. You can see me. We're gonna open the hips as we balance. So hands are gonna stay at your heart. We're gonna bring the left foot up, flexing that foot. So let's tabletop the leg. And that's your goal here. So the tabletop the leg, you wanna to try to get your hamstring, which is the bottom muscles here. You wanna get them parallel to the floor. If you can, we're flexing the other foot. This is where you want to be. Now we're going to open up that hip. So we're going to take that leg out to the side. So we're table topping. And don't worry if you can't get it up this side. That's fine. We're going to take it out to the side, opening the hip, trying to keep the chest where it is. We're only rotating through the hip. Good. Now from there, I want you to drop the knee down toward the other knee. <laughs> And then tabletop the leg. So we're going to take two more circles just like that. So you're circling, the knees coming out, bring knee to knee, back to the tabletop, out, knee to knee. Good. Now, if you need that shake out, shake it out. We're staring at one thing in front of you that is not moving. Pick your spot and keep your gaze there. Now let's start with a knee to knee position on this same leg. So still the left leg, find that stable position. We're gonna take the knee out to the side first and then tabletop and bring the knee back to the knee this time. So we're taking it straight back. Open up to the side, try not to move that upper body like I just did, take it to the front, knee to knee. Keep flexing, lift it up, open that hip, take it to the front for that tabletop and knee to knee. Good. I hope yours looked a little better than mine. If not, that's okay. But if you feel really unbalanced with this, make sure you have a wall available or a bar available or a doorknob just so you can grab onto something in the middle. Now let's try it on the right leg. So hands are still in the same spot. You're still staring at the same thing, maybe. If that didn't work for you, stare somewhere else. Let's tabletop the right leg. Take it out in front. Oh boy. <laughs> this is where I can tell how sore my legs are from my workout. Ready? Let's take it up. Flex that foot. Tabletop. We're going to take it out. Knee to knee. 
So get back to the front, lift around, knee to knee, to the front, around, knee to knee. Good, now if you need that rest, you can drop that foot down, shake it out. If not, stay in that balanced position. I'm gonna show you from this side what it looks like when we go backwards. So you're standing tall, looking at one thing in front. We're gonna start with knee to knee, flexing. Open the hip up, out to the side. Tabletop, and then take that knee back to the other knee. Lift up, to the front, and back one more time. Take it out, to the front, and back. All right. Beautiful. Let's shake those legs, shake everything out. Let's stand at the front of your mat. And let's inhale here, taking that slide back bend. Maybe getting a little deeper there, taking the hands behind you, tucking the hands into the lower back in fists, gently allowing the elbows to get a little closer and the shoulders to fall a little further. Awesome. Let's come down to your forward fold. We're going to take both legs back. And we're going to end up here into our plank. So into our nice, strong plank. If you are not able to hold there, I want you to bring your knees down. Good. Neutral spine, shoulders back. There's a lot going on here. In planks, you are working your whole body. It's not just your core. You're working upper. You're working your legs, your calves, even your toes. Good. Keep pressing in, pressing the heels back. And we're going to lift up into downward dog. Now we're going to work on a little bit of core work here. So we're, when you're in your plank, also you can grab a drink now if you need it. But when you're in your plank, we're gonna stay there, whether you're on your knees or not. And we're gonna kind of round through your back, tuck your chin into your chest, really squeezing. So we're gonna hollow out in your belly. So think about as tight as you can in your stomach. That's where you wanna be with your belly button. All right, so we're gonna go there. Pull those shoulders back. Now, it's hardly a move. We're, we're hardly moving here. But you're going to tuck your chin in, squeeze, press the heels back, and hollow out in your stomach. So really squeeze tight. Now release. We're coming back to your plank. We're going to do that two more times. This time we're exhaling. Chin tucks in. We're squeezing. And release. One more time. Squeeze. And we release. Awesome job. Let's settle back to your child's pose. Give me two breaths here. And sigh as you exhale. One more time, inhale. And sigh as you exhale. That was wonderful. Let's place the elbows on the mat and we're lifting your hips up. Let's rock the hips. Now we're going to do the same hollow body hold in your plank, but on your elbows this time. So your knees can definitely come down. You can put your elbows on a chair and have your legs back just so your chair is stable enough to hold you. Elbows under your shoulders. All right. So let's tuck in and tuck the chin, squeeze, hollow out. Inhale into your regular plank, lengthen the spine, and again, round just a little, just enough to squeeze that belly tight. We're exhaling. And we lengthen one more time. And exhale. 
you drop your belly to your mat. Now those are very, very challenging if you do them correctly. You should definitely feel those everywhere. Hands are under our shoulders. We're gonna lift in our cobra. We haven't done cobra yet, so let's start very small. So we're gonna do baby cobra and lower down. Baby cobra, maybe a little bigger. Or down. Inhale, lift, relax the shoulders. Or down. Inhale. And exhale. Now let's rest by facing your head to the left. Arms by your side, palms up. Let's breathe. Facing your head now to the right and breathe. Now we're taking your gaze down to your mats and I'm gonna show you the left side first. So this is great for your shoulders. Wonderful sh shoulder opener, especially the front anterior delts. We're taking your left arm out to the side. Your palm is gonna face the floor. Now on the other side, you're taking your right hand and putting it in a goalpost position, moving it a little closer to you. So it's gonna look like this. Your knee, so I'm gonna show you what your right knee is doing right now. Your knee will be like this. So with the hand behind you, you're gonna lift up nice and tall, pressing the opposite palm into the floor. We're taking your gaze up to the ceiling, making sure your shoulder is away from your ears. I'm gonna do it on the other side so you can see both sides. Good, just keep it on that one side. You're lifting up, you should feel that nice stretch. Keep breathing. Walking up at the ceiling if you can. Oh, wonderful. Let's relax and go for it on the other side. So take the opposite arm behind you, pull the knee in, press up with that hand, take your gaze up, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Wonderful for these shoulders. Good. Let's relax, but not for long. So long spine, we're taking your arms behind you, lifting your upper body, pressing your feet into your mat, lowering down. Now with these, they do take a while to get a little higher. That's okay. I want you to really squeeze your glutes, pressing your pelvis into your mat and lifting up. So we're trying to open your chest here. So my palms are out, my thumbs are up like I'm flying. Good, relax. That's too long for you to hold. Just drop down and lift up. Just to strengthen your back. And really get you toward great posture. Now, if that is too easy for you and you would like to interlace the fingers and lift up a little higher, you can do that also. Good. Press the feet into your mat. Good, let's drop down and rest. That also should feel amazing. Hands tuck under the hands, or under the shoulders, <laughs> lift your hips. Hands tucking under the hands might be hard. Let's pedal in. Again, we're separating the feet. So let's take the most wide as your mat. We're gonna try a little challenge here. So the hands are gonna crawl to the middle of your downward dog. So hands, it's, it's almost as if your thumbs were touching here. We're gonna allow the right hand to reach for the left leg. Good, you're gonna open your body up on that side. There's all kinds of modifications. You can bend your knee. You can have 
his left hand on a chair. Keep pressing your heels down. Make sure your toes are forward, your heels are back, you're not rotating. Let's switch. Good, release. Let's try it one more time, or two more times on each side. Release, reach. Release, reach. Now the further down this hand is, the more challenging it is. You can start way up here, just so you're not grabbing your knee at any point. And let's switch. Hand comes forward, crawl the hands back toward the feet. We are in your forward fold. You can heel toe the feet back into about shoulder width apart. And let's roll up this time. Just make it nice and slow. Roll, roll, roll. Inhale, we'll take this leg back bend. Now exhale, we're flying back down. Relax your head. And let's crawl to the outside of the left foot. Allowing the head to relax, crawl to the outside of the right foot. Crawling back to the middle and let's take it forward. Roll it out. You can use your knees. You can take them back down to the mat if you want. Nice job. Now let's work through the shoulders a little more. So we're going to take your knees under your hips, your hands under your shoulders again, grabbing that strong spine. So let's grab that neutral tailbone. The left arm is going to come straight out. Your palm is down. I want you to tuck that elbow behind the rib cage. We're trying not to lift up just yet. Now we're going to lift the chest up a little. Good, still tucking. Let's release. Take it on the other side, the palms down. Tuck the elbow behind. Start to open your chest to the right side. Drop down. Neutral spine again. Tuck the belly button in, left arm is out, palm is down. Tuck it in. Open up. Release, take the arm straight out again. I'm gonna reach this arm up as high as you can. We're trying to keep those hips exactly where they were, your body where it is. It doesn't matter how high that arm goes. Switch sides, take the right arm straight out. The palm is down. Tuck that elbow behind the ribs, open up. Take it out and reach that arm straight up. Good release. That's a crazy stretch. Definitely works. All right, now going back to the left hand, I'm gonna reach it out in front. Take it out, tuck it behind, open up, reach. Same hand is gonna tuck underneath. Allow that shoulder to come down to the mat. For a deeper stretch there, you wanna look up to the ceiling if you can. Woo, yeah, that's a good one. Good, grab that neutral spine again. Right arm out in front. Wonderful. I'll take it to the back. Tuck it in. Open the chest. Reach the arm up. Keep those hips over your knees and tuck that arm on your knee. Gaze is up. Always breathing through your stretches. Let's release. Oh yeah, shoulders gotta be feeling good now. Wonderful job. Now we worked on a lot of core work in those planks. We're gonna work on some core work now. 
in another balancing pose, which is boat pose. So let's take the left arm out. Relax the shoulders, belly's tight. We're gonna take the left leg and lift it up. Now, if you need that left or that right hand underneath the right leg, you can grab it. So this would be a more modified bird version. You can hold one side at a time and then switch back and forth. The main goal here is to keep your chest as high as possible so that when you bring that leg in, you're not grounded forward. So even if you're back a little here, that's okay. Just try to keep your spine long. The next step to that would be to bring both legs up. And you can take your hands behind the legs. Notice my feet are flexed, shoulders are relaxed, back is tall, not rounded, tall. More advanced version would be to take the arms out. Now your belly's tight here. You wanna stay in this position. Your goal, another goal to look for is that your calves are parallel to your mat. So if you're here, that's okay but I would rather you hold the back of your legs with your feet up and out where they should be until you get used to this position. So eventually you can just let go and arms come up. Now the most advanced for this pose is straight legs. So you can straighten and point. You can also hold behind the legs if you'd like to try to straighten. Good job. Even if you can't hold it this whole time, just come back to it when you're ready. You can take any modification that you want in between. Just try to stay in that position. Remember, opposite leg and arm are good too. Here, that might be all you need for now is to work on lifting your chest, squeezing your stomach and strengthening your core. Just make sure you switch so that you're even on both sides. And let's hold for another 30 seconds. You can do this wherever you want. Squeeze, sit tall, still breathing. You're doing amazing out there. Still have 15 seconds. Relax your shoulders. There's a lot to think about here. Looking good, everybody. Three, two, and one. Nice. Now grab the legs. Take them straight out. We're on our sits bones. We inhale. We exhale. Reach for the toes. Wherever you are is okay. And let's kind of walk the feet out. So we're moving our lower back a little bit. Just a baby bit. Good. Drag the hands up. Let's take your hips to your heels. Rolling back and giving yourself a nice massage on the mat, rocking back and forth. Good. Let's take the circles. And in the opposite direction. Let's pull one knee a little closer. The opposite leg comes out and rests on the mat. We're still flexing those toes up to the ceiling. Allow the knee that is folded inward to drop out. We're still flexing that foot. And take that knee across the body. So as you take that left knee across the body, your left foot is laying on the right leg. Reach the arm back. Take your gaze toward that left hand. Wonderful, let's release and switch. So take the right knee in, the left leg straight out. Allow that knee to fall to the side. And take it across the body. Reaching the right arm back and looking back toward that hand. <laughs> Good. One more time. We're massaging and then we're relaxing. So let's 
relax in Shavasana, allow the legs to come out. If you're not comfortable laying on your back like this, you can prop your knees up with a blanket. Also prop your head up with a blanket. Want to be in as restful a position as possible in Shavasana. Palms up to the ceiling, allow your toes to drop out. And let's melt into your mat, just relax. We'll use these next few minutes just for you. Back to your normal breathing pattern. I invite you to stay on your mat if you're able to. Everyone else, flutter your eyes open. If they are closed, let's wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Slowly roll on your right side. And let's press to your seated position, hands to heart. Thank you all very much for spending your evening with me and I hope you are more relaxed and more resilient. Thank you for spending your time with me every week. Have a wonderful evening and let's end class by taking a deep cleansing breath by saying the light in me honors the light in each of it and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you all very much. If you would like to continue on with the chakras next week, let me know if you would like to continue on with more of this type of yoga. Totally fine with that too. Up to you. This is your class. I am here for you. So enjoy your week and hopefully we'll get some good weather in those days where they say there's a lot of thunderstorms. If not, oh well, we have to live through that. But thank you. And don't forget, you can always replay the videos on YouTube. I will see you next week at seven. Good night, everybody. You're welcome. Continue today's, okay. Namaste. Okay, I will definitely do that. You're very welcome, Carol, Chris, Marie, Marty. Wonderful job, everyone. Oh, lost you. Darn it. I don't know where you went. Sorry, everybody, I lost you. There you are. <laughs> See how good I am with this? All right, Irma.
Grace, Carol, have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next week. Bye.